Hey guys, you're watching because you want to know me. My name is AJ and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Modular Castle. No time to waste today. I want to get in the sort of layout for the entire castle now. Everything that comes back behind here. We're going to end up going over, obviously, uh, what we've done with the island so far. But we can always extend it and pull it out a little bit, can't we? I want it to come back probably to a roundabout here. I don't know. I don't know how far yet. I don't know how far yet. Now, we need uh, really tall walls down here. So we don't really want that many windows on this side. Windows are weaknesses. <laughs> Fish are friends. Windows are weaknesses. And uh, we don't want people throwing rocks through them and stuff like that. So on these sides, at least on the ground floor, we don't want windows. We want the sort of um, uh, blocked up window ones um, uh, down on the bottom. And then I suppose we could have some windows higher up because it would be a little bit more difficult. You'd have to be more accurate, wouldn't you, to be able to uh, get through there. So we have uh, this one is the double blocked up one. I think this is one that we're going to go for. So we'll grab that, and we shall grab that. I don't know where the other red point is, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to go on to the left side. Now, when we rotate, it rotates clockwise. So we need to rotate by 270 degrees to get it to face this way. If I just do a paste here. Yeah, okay, good. It's always a good sign when, when it goes right. Always a good start to the day when your maths is on point. And then we want to paste this along uh, the bottom. It's going to actually be a really nice pattern, these sort of double windows going along. And it's going to be easy then to count as well, like how many windows and, and, and wall stuff we need. I think I, we need to go here. Yeah, that's the spot. So we have one window or two, if you like. One, one section, second section. Now I can build them like this where it has two blocks between and then one between the window. Or I can undo and I can paste it here. And that keeps one block between each one. That, that's got to make more sense, right? Yeah, that's got to make more sense. So we have another one. Oop, too low. It's hard now because I have nothing to stand on. Paste. Paste. That might be good because then we're going to have another tower here. Yeah, another tower. Probably a taller one. There. Um, I need to probably make another. How are you? We haven't used. Oh, yeah. These ones are those front ones. But I don't have a big blue top yet. So, yeah. I think I'm going to use this big blue. Or this big round tower. Big stone round tower. On the back. And have we used. We haven't used the big wooden ones yet either. We've used square wooden ones, and we've used the small wooden ones, which are these ones for that tower. But I haven't used the big wooden ones. And they're small towers. Okay, this could be a really good mix and match here. Um, since we've got wood here, I probably don't want wood on that one. I want wood on the very back, like the furthest point back. So, um, yeah, I should probably put the tower in now. So we'll grab ourselves the base, large stone base here. And we want to copy it. I probably want to stand where the wall's going to be. And that wall that I copied, the main bit of the wall, we're going right here. So I'm going to stand right here. I think that's it feels like the right place to give us the least amount of hassle. The only other big towers that we've used so far are the front ones here. So it's nice to have like the big one here, big one on that corner, big one on the back corner. You know, so so there's four huge towers and then the little towers are more uh, decoration. Now I should be able to just paste here uh, without any problems. And it should be all in line and lined up and everything, right? Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. When it when it goes right. If 
fill that one in. Sweet. Okay, so there's that tower. We're not even that far, like, back either. We, we, we haven't extended the island by, like, a gross amount. That's going to look weird. Uh, I think we can definitely get this to work. Okay, so I think we might as well build the tower, right? How do we do this tower? We used the base and then a plain one and then a window one. And I think that must have been it, right? Yeah, base, plain, and then the small window one. We do have a large window one as well. I'm going to go base, plain, big window, Either big window, plain little window, or big window, little window, and then the cap on the top when we build the top. We haven't built the cap to this one yet, though, unfortunately. Okay, I can stand anywhere for this one. Copy. Oh, this is going to look good. We need it taller. We need it... This is probably going to be the tallest tower on the entire castle. So we might be able to get away with plain, big window, plain, little window. At least, potentially. I got a feeling I placed that one block too far down. I got a feeling that I should be standing on this one. That's better. Okay, plain. Again, windows are weaknesses, so which is why we put in the windows only further up the building. So trebuchets and, you know, cannons from ships and stuff like that, because obviously we're in the water here. Uh, have trouble hitting them. Our walls are strong. Our walls can take cannonballs. But uh, but windows, maybe not. They're, they're not tempered glass. Not bulletproof glass like they are nowadays. Imagine if, imagine if castles were built now. They would be pretty much indestructible, wouldn't they? Just like steel walls. Big old iron and steel cages and... Infrastructure, yeah, they'd be completely invincible. Like 12 inch thick tempered glass windows. You just couldn't break into them. I think I can get away with plain little window. I think I can. I think I think we can get, I think it's uh, tall enough to be able to do. So we'll have another plain one. Then a little one on top. And then imagine that blue one. But bigger, because uh, obviously we need to we need to to make one to fit that diameter. We don't have one to fit this diameter yet. So that's the plain one. Yeah, small window will really cap that or will really finish the top off nicely, and it also goes into a really nice ring as well. See how on that one we have the. Uh, stone brick slabs as like a top ring that's this piece right here so it's like the perfect block to put before the uh, the final sort of section okay and it also has a sort of section that's a little bit bigger here as well yeah so I need if I stood right I'm gonna get this wrong I'm gonna stand in the middle I'm going to place this wrong for the first time, but I'll be able to fix it. Did I just actually try and look around it then? <laughs> I used to do that with the Game Boy. You guys remember the handheld Game Boy consoles? I used to play Tetris on there, and if I couldn't get the block over, I used to lean, and my whole body used to lean to try and get over enough <laughs> to get into the slot. I used to turn the console and everything. Get over there! Uh, paste. I think that's the right spot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, that's got a really good height on it now. And then the tower goes above that. Oh, that fits so nicely. Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to work on a on the big blue peak myself. I shall be back, okay? Baby blue cap. Big blue cap. I think it's a nice... Um, angle. I think I think we've got it pretty nice. Uh, now we just need to get some anchor points down and stick it on top. Okay, so that one. And how far do we need to come out? A little bit more. Need to make sure I get all of the sides. I think that's the point. So we have that one. 
to that one. I can stand anywhere that I like, really. Copy. I got a feeling this is going to look pretty good. I tried to add a little bit of a sort of thicker base as well to to try and like add a little bit of detail, especially since so we've got this grey part under there. I think it's going to look quite good. When did I copy it from the front or the side? I think I copied it from this front, didn't I? So I think I got to stand there. Ah, uh, whoop, huh? Oh, <laughs> I turned around to have a look. I was like. How did I only copy half of it? But no, it was just uh, sort of like a trunk load. Let's take away these red ones and then we can back off and have a look. I think that looks really, really nice. There's definitely a size difference between the peaks. Now that they're on, you can definitely see a difference. And the peak seems to suit the height of the tower as well. Sometimes if you have a really tall tower... But then a really like small peak on the top, it doesn't look that good. And the same as if you have a short tower with like a really tall peak, it looks out of proportion. I think we've got it about right. I'm really, really chuffed with that. Okay, so uh, now that we've got that, we can now continue on that wall and that wall. And then have the big square tower in the corner as well. I think we'll start off... You know, we are going to... There is going to be a problem. And the problem's going to be... That from this distance here to that tower, like in perpendicular with that tower, is different from the, the amount of sections. So, maybe it would be a smart idea to go from the back. I just threw something. I don't know what I threw, but I threw something on the I threw it on the ground. No. Uh, we want the double... Uh, blocked up windows again. They actually look really, really nice down the bottom there. Uh, anyway, uh, even though we're doing it because windows are weaknesses, uh, they, they look pretty good. Now, we need to rotate this by 180 degrees to get it to face the other way. Uh, so, we want to stand here. Copy. Rotate by 180. I should probably fast travel over. It's probably a little bit quicker now. And, yeah, we're going to go from the back. I need to tie this in nicely as well. At the moment, this is a little bit uh, choppy. That needs to blend in nicely, but that shouldn't really be a problem. But, yeah, from here, from that point to this point, there's going to be likely a different amount of modules, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, I'm also going to have to come in here to paste the wall. Yeah, that's nicely spaced. And then paste. And we need to do this until we're in line with that tower over there. And it's not going to be easy to do. We're going to have to sort of oops, eyeball it a little bit. Uh, but also, well, I think that's pretty perfect, right? That doesn't look too far off. Um, we're likely going to come across a problem here. We're likely going to come across a problem that... The tower base is going to interfere with half of the window. Um, or something like that. Now if I rotate it another 270 degrees. I should be able. No, because I'm standing on the wrong side. What's the best way to do this? That one to that one copy it here rotate by 270 then I can paste it and I'm on the correct side otherwise I'd have been on the left side and that would have caused a lot of problems uh, paste beautiful that goes there right yep yeah. paste paste now I'm going to come down this wall first instead of putting the tower in now because maybe this will give us a good idea on exactly where the tower is going to be because it's going to be like perfectly in line then. I still got, I've still got a feeling that we're going to come across a little bit of problem pretty soon though. We're going to have to work out something. Ooh. You slide in the air like you're on ice. Alright, so, 
as you can see, we're already like slightly out of line here. Uh, if we were perfectly in line, it would be like that. Do you know what I mean? Like the wall would come out to here. So it's like we're two blocks out. That's not something that we can really have any control over. That's because uh, the castle isn't square shaped. If we kept everything square shaped, uh, everything would have lined up perfectly. Well, no, it probably wouldn't have because we've got like a tower in the middle here. Uh, which is a different size to this small tower. So yeah, we would have never have got it perfectly. Maybe we're lucky that we're only two blocks out. But like I said, it doesn't mean that we're going to interfere with um, a couple of these windows. We might have to just blank off or make the windows completely stone in a couple of spots. I don't know. We want to use a... Oh, I'm going to use the wooden one, the large wooden uh, sections. We haven't used these ones yet. We've got a base... And it looks like a base with windows and then two middle sections. But you know what? We might be able to modify this to make this into a really cool uh, just normal section. Like if I take out these ones. And we get these and I put these in like this. Oops. Oh no, don't do that. And like this. I'm hoping that this is going to just make a nice detailed sort of um, middle section. A middle section with a window. Yeah, maybe on top of a blank piece or something like that. So, we have to go with the base one first. And what corner do we want? It's that wall and that wall. So, I think I want to stand here. I'm going to stand there anyway. Let's teleport back over. I've got a sneeze on the way. Like it's just like right on the end of my nose. But it's not going to come because I know it's there now. <laughs> uh, I can't remember where I stood. I think I stood on this side. I'm going to paste here as a guess. Okay, we were perfectly in line with that, which is good. But as you can see, we're not in line with this. We need to come over by, I don't know, like four blocks. So let's let's try our luck. And I'm going to go into the middle of this one instead. How's our luck? One block out. That's all we are. We're only one single block out. Hang on. That one starts straight into the window but this one has the stone brick or has the stone there so that should be the one block that we need i should be able to stand here oh this is going to work out this might actually work out absolutely perfectly stay underneath it see how the edge of this tower goes straight into the window that's the same as what it is like on that side so it doesn't look off center now or anything have to replace these ones. And that one. And this one. And it's in line with this as well now. Oh, that's so perfect. What is it? Ah. What can you do? Uh, I might be able to move all of those windows across by one or something. Let's take this out so it looks neat from inside. Way. Whoops! I might be able to move the windows across by by one block, and that might solve it. Like, if I moved it over by one block, it would be stone, and then the window. And on this side, it would be two stone, and the window. But this doesn't have. Yeah. No, I think we can pull this off as well. If we went from there to here we cut and we paste I can then hopefully fill these in here make that look like the wall again 
So we've got one block or one stone block before the blank windows over here. And on this side, we've got one stone block because this one's got this. Thing. Yeah. How do we work that out? How do we do that? We do that every time. Every time it works out. <gasps> Are we missing? Am I meant to have those bits on top? Like these slab bits? On top of those? Did I forgot to select forget to select those pieces? I did! Yeah, we're missing those around the side. Oh, I didn't I didn't really notice that much of a difference, but boy will it make it look good. Cause they always th these light blocks always look good. Ah oh, yeah, no, we got them on that one. We got them on this side. Did I get them on the back then? As well? Or did I miss them off the back and the side? We're definitely missing them off that side. No, I got them on this side as well. So it's just <laughs> just the back that I seem to miss for some reason. Oh, yeah, because I caught... I, I, well, that's when I shifted them over, wasn't it? That's it. When I shifted them all over by one. So I'm sure I would have noticed earlier. Oh, look at that. So there's now the size of the of the castle plan. We've got everything all all sized out now. I still have no idea how the roof is going to go. No idea at all. We're going to have to just sort of work it out as it comes really. I I I haven't got a clue how we want to do that. But that is all I've got time for this episode, I'm afraid, guys. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. Next episode, I'm going to hope and try and get all of the walls up to the correct height and start on the roof sections, probably mostly the battlement sections, um, because that's going to be the stage one, like this sort of section here around all the other sides, because once that's in, um, it'll make it a little bit easier to know where the roof's got to start and where heights and stuff need to go. Oh yeah, and we'll finish off the big wooden tower. We don't have time to do that today. Alright guys, 